I'm happy to announce that I'll be doing a new course in my series, How Historians Read the Bible. This course will be called The Unknown Jesus, Revealing the Secrets of the Gospel of Mark. The course will consist of eight lectures. They will each be 45 minutes and we'll have Q&A uh, twice uh, on each of the two days that I'll be delivering it. That'll be February 18th and 19th. If you purchase the course ahead of time, you're welcome to come hear me deliver it remotely. Otherwise, you can simply purchase the entire course. Throughout Christian history, the Gospel of Mark has been the least read and quoted of the four accounts of Jesus' life in the New Testament. Even today, many people simply assume its story is just a shorter version of Matthew or Luke, a kind of no-frills, nuts-and-bolts Reader's Digest account of the life of Jesus. That's a very serious mistake. I've long thought that on the contrary, Mark is the most brilliant gospel of the four, a real masterpiece. It's somewhat ironic that most readers simply don't understand Mark's unique message about Jesus, since Mark's overarching emphasis is that Jesus was a Messiah that no one could understand. This is a highly distinctive portrayal of Jesus, which most people miss because the author doesn't beat you over the head with his message. You have to look for it, and once you see it, you realize just how amazing this narrative is. In this eight lecture course, we'll unpack the sophisticated and nuanced meaning of Mark's gospel to reveal its subtleties and its powerful message about Jesus as a Messiah who was completely unlike what anyone could possibly have expected. So unexpected in this account, that no one can figure out who he is. But Mark knows who he is, and so can the readers, once they are shown the clues right there in the text. In our lecture, we'll be asking uh, and uh, trying to answer a number of intriguing questions, including the following. For Mark, how can Jesus be the Messiah, the expected destroyer of God's enemies and the king of the Jewish people, if he was rejected by them captured and publicly tortured to death. Isn't that the opposite of the Messiah? Why in Mark, unlike the other Gospels, does no one know who Jesus is? Not the Jewish leaders, the crowds, his neighbors, his companions, his closest disciples, his mother? Why does no one get it? And why does Jesus himself try to keep his divine identity a secret in Mark? instead of proclaiming it openly. Is Mark's account an accurate portrayal of what the historical Jesus himself said and did? Or is it a portrayal that's been shaped by Mark's own theological understanding of Jesus? Could it be both? Did Mark have first-hand knowledge of Jesus' life? Or is most of his information second-hand, third-hand, or fourth-hand? Is he possibly just making stuff up? Finally, how did later copyists of Mark's gospel change what he said to create a different story from the original account? Have any of these changes misled readers away from Mark's own message? The retail price for this course will be $59.95. But if you purchase the course before midnight on January 27th, you can get all eight, eight, all eight lectures, the Q&A sessions, and lifetime access and bo to, mo to uh, bonus materials for just $47.95. Mark is my favorite book of the New Testament. I hope you can join me as I discuss it in this course.